fighting a deadly invisible enemy. Even knights need help. It was like one of those things that sounded, you know, almost too good to be true. Philip Leach raised his castle's drawbridge to stop the spread of coronavirus. At this theme park, knights, peasants, even a wizard are going on the government's JobKeeper wage subsidy scheme to keep the kingdom alive. It did look like uh, it could be the difference between uh, Crowell Castle you know, staying a viable business or maybe perhaps uh, closing its doors uh, for a longer term. The subsidy gives eligible businesses up to $1,500 a fortnight per employee. The money must be passed on. It keeps employees linked to a business and off unemployment queues. Almost three quarters of a million businesses, covering almost five million employees, have signed up for the massive scheme. But that's lower than the number that expressed interest. In the context of COVID-19, namely that they're temporary, that they're targeted, that they're proportionate uh, to the challenge. A key sticking point is that people working multiple jobs, including casuals with less than a year's tenure, are excluded. Many businesses say the scheme is too complex. You need to understand business tax, GST, employment taxes, employment law, immigration and a good dose of HR. But the biggest issue is cash flow. Companies that have seen their income smashed, like Cryo Castle near Ballarat in Victoria, have had to take out huge loans to pay staff and now must wait to be reimbursed. Having to front uh, several weeks of wages was going to be a real challenge uh, for a business like ours, especially when uh, we have so many staff. Relief is finally in sight. Payments begin to employers today. Daniel Ziffer, ABC News, Melbourne.